Assalamu alaikum. Greetings, everyone. Uh, this is just a, uh, a video that I've been wanting to do for quite some time because I saw this video a while back where there's this cop. He's uh, manhandling a, a, a black female, mistreating her very, you know, very roughly, very aggressive, slamming her down. I mean, she's very skinny and frail, you know, poses no threat to this man. So after he manhandles her and treats her very rough, slams her down and everything, he arrests her. And while they're in the car, you know, they begin to have a conversation about police, I guess, about police brutality and the violence against blacks, uh, you know, police violence against blacks or whatever. And, uh, you know, she says, like, you know, I, I really don't understand why this happens. And he says, well, I can answer your question. And he says, it's violent tendencies, i.e., you know, implying vi uh, vi supposed violent tendencies of black people. So when I saw that, I was like, man, that needs to be addressed because, you know, th th this is total nonsense. Th this false fear that you know these white cops and, and whites claim to have of black people when in reality you know they have the they have the vicious history of, of racial violence against us so I've been waiting to, I've been wanting to do this video so here's my chance to finally address this so we're gonna first take a look at the video and then I'll go ahead and break it down and expose this this paranoid false fear that they have of us Austin Texas tonight new video emerging and two police officers are under investigation the video shows one officer and the takedown of a teacher after a traffic stop and what a second police officer can be heard saying to the teacher when she's put in the cruiser. Here's ABC's Steve Osinsami. Do not touch me. By no means does this violent takedown of a second grade teacher speak for the behavior of all police. But what she hears from herself after she got upset and the first officer lost his cool. He later tells him, but she's never seen hitting him in the video. It confirms me. The squad car on the way to jail helps explain why many black Americans don't trust police. Let me ask you this. Why, why are so many people afraid of black people? Violent tendencies. The video is coming to light tonight, a year later. It is. The black community is being violent. That's why a lot of the white people are afraid, and I don't blame them. There's some guys I look at. Uh, yeah. I know it's my job to deal with them, and I know it's probably going to go ugly. So as you just heard the uh, and just saw, the young lady was being manhandled. Uh, she got, you know, thrown around like a rag doll. The cop picks her up. He slams her. And after all of that, she is then arrested, and it appears that she, it was a different cop who she's sitting in the car with who's having the conversation with her. So after all of that, after being manhandled, she's a female. She's a female. Isn't it funny how these, they, these, these people always talking about how the, the how the, the Arab countries and the, the Muslim religion is mistreating women and all that but then here they are ha mis manhandling women and treating them with, you know with, with no regard for her being a woman right so after all of that she talks to the officer a different officer being arrested and they begin to talk about you know the the uh, the, the violence of the the police brutality or whatever and he says well hey look you know the reason he said do you know the reason why people are afraid of black people and of course and he means white because he clears it up that he means white people why are white people afraid and he tells her the reason is violent tendencies but that's interesting when they have the history of being violent towards us right they have a history of being violent towards us now it's, it's not just a, a, a you know a few a, a few years it's not just a decade there's they have a, a few centuries of being hor horribly and, and I mean horribly violent not only towards black people, but towards other people of color upon this earth. And yet he's talking about them being fearful of us? I think, uh, you know what, there's someone who answers this question better than me. And I I'm going to let him give the answer. Violence. And isn't it sad that we who have been the victims of so much violence, now whites fear violence from us, we do not have a history of killing white people. White people have a history of killing us. See, and what, and what you fear, may I say this, sir? What you fear, and it's a deep guilt thing, that white folks suffer, you are afraid that if we ever come to power, we will do to you and your fathers what you and your people have done to us. And I think 
You are judging us by the state of your own mind, and that is not necessarily the mind of black people. So the nerve of this officer, when we see that whites have a violent history, more so against us, we should be the ones fearful of them than the other way around. I mean, look at these pictures. Violent, horrific, burning people alive just because you're black. Look at that. I mean, look at this horrendous, horrific racial violence. Violence against our children. They don't even, as I've said before, they don't even consider that the person's the child. They, they just see black. Look at the racial violence even against our children. Racial violence seeking rights, unarmed, and they still want to be violent with dogs against us. Just asking for basic rights, just to be treated like a human being. Racial violence against other ethnic uh, non-whites. Here you see violence against Asians. Heads chopped off. Discrimination. See? See what I'm saying? Look, invading other lands and just being brutal, just being bullied to, just being bullies to these people. Why? Because they're different skin color. I mean, look at the brutality. Look at, and then celebrating it, loving it. Look here, even the, even the children. Look at the little girl smiling at a lynched black man. She's not even afraid. She's smiling. She's enjoying it with her pet, with the family. Look how brutally they treated us. Look at this. Just asking for basic rights, blasting us with fire hoses, because we want to be treated with dignity as human beings. Here's pictures from the Congo where they would cut off the limbs of the of the of the people if they didn't pick enough uh, uh, rubber and things for the uh, for the Congo. I mean, look at look at this brutality. But they're afraid of us. The cop says, "No, they got it twisted." And it's just as Mr. Minister Farrakhan said, they're just afraid that we might do the same thing to them. But that's not necessarily the mind of black people. And for those who may say that this is the past, well, how about some recent incidents? Video camera captured an arrest that shaped U.S. history. On March 3rd, 1991, a man recorded this scene from his apartment balcony in Los Angeles. Ooh, it's still hard to look at. It yep. shows LAPD officers beating a man named Rodney King. King was released two days later without being charged. In April 1992, four police officers were acquitted of criminal charges in this beating. That led to violent riots around Southern California. Here are some recent incidents within the last 25 years or so. And here we, even after we saw the brutality, whites saw this and they let these cops go. Just like these, these with the recent incidents of juries letting white cops get away with committing brutality, committing murder. They see the violence. They see it's clear. I mean, it's clear on that video. How could anybody justify that? But the whites let them go. But you're afraid of us. Here's a recent incidents of, of within the last 25 years of, of blacks being hung being beat here's a cop he, who was seen not uh, but maybe a few years ago beating a woman black woman slamming the black girl down in the texas incident last a uh, year or so uh, eric garner being choked we all saw these on video these are all recent incidents but they're afraid of us they tell us so really it, it's just shocking the nerve of this officer after seeing his fellow officer I mean the woman as you can see it was very skinny you know she, she was a very skinny and frail woman could have easily handled her without any problem but as you see he treated her with excessive force unnecessary excessive force slamming her around throwing her around but that's the point see when these racist race soldiers called cops see blacks they don't care as you saw in some of the older pictures it didn't matter if it was a child they, 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 their, their hatred did not allow them to, you know, treat the person differently. A child, they still treated them harshly. Elderly woman treated harshly. There was a recent, recent incident in the Bronx, New York City in the Bronx. Elderly woman was shot. Right? Black elderly woman. You see? Um, so it doesn't matter whether it's a black child. Doesn't matter whether it's a black female. Doesn't matter if it's an elderly black person. All they see is black, and their hatred overrides everything, right? We're always told about how, you know, uh, it's those other countries, it's those Muslims, they, they treat the women, they treat women badly and, and all this and all, these, all this stuff. But here they are having no regard for the woman. No regard for the woman when she's black. No regard whatsoever that she's a female. Hey, don't be so rough. No, they don't care. All they see is a black beast, obviously. 
who doesn't deserve any treatment doesn't matter Do doesn't deserve any special treatment doesn't deserve to be treated any different than you would treat a man you see so we have our children our elderly and the female now with the men we understand it's a man okay fine but even when the men are not a threat to them they in their minds see a threat their imagination allows them to see a monster and obviously it doesn't matter they see a monster no matter what and they're ready for blood they're ready to slay the monster whether that whether that imaginary monster that's why I said imaginary monster is a black child whether that imaginary monster in their mind is a is a, is a elderly black person all they see is a monster and it deserves no mercy so you know it, it, I just wanted to put this to rest this nonsense that this 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 white cop was telling this woman you know that the, 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 they're afraid because of violent tendencies when they have the history of violence not only to black people but to all people of color upon this earth these people have aggressed upon all other peoples of color upon this earth whether they be Asians Native Americans you know uh, uh, Aborigines people Aboriginal people it doesn't matter they have aggressed upon all these other different types of people of color they have expressed their hatred toward them they have discriminated against them they have treated them unfairly they've brutalized them they've committed genocide against them they've murdered them they've done uh, um, scientific evil scientific experiments against these people against black people against others right they've gone as far as sterilizing these people they've done so many different types of evil and just demonic torturous horrendous things but they're afraid of us I mean wow I mean that that's just so wow I mean it's just it's there's no words for it there's, there's just like I'm just dumbfounded in what to say at the fact that he could actually say they're afraid of us when they have the history of being the most violent people on this earth brothers and sisters I'm here to tell you that I charge the white man I charge the white man with being the greatest murderer on earth. I charge the white man with being the greatest kidnapper on earth. There is no place in this world, no place in this world, where he created peace and harmony. Everywhere he's gone, he's created havoc. Everywhere he's gone, he's created destruction. So I charge him. I charge him with being the greatest kidnapper on this earth. Kidnapper on this earth. I charge him with being the girl on this earth. I charge him with being the greatest girl and enslaver on this earth. I, I charge the white man with being the greatest wine eater on this earth. The greatest drunkard on this earth. He can't deny the charges. You can't deny the charges. We're the living proof of those charges. You and I are the proof. The proof. You're, you're not an American. You are the victim of America. You didn't have a choice coming over here. He didn't say, black man, black woman, come on over and help me build America. He said, nigga, get down in the bottom of that boat and I'm taking you over there to help me build America. Being born here does not make you an American. I'm not an American, you're not an American. You're one of the 22 million black people who are the victims of America. You and I, we've never seen any democracy. We ain't seen no democracy on the, the cotton fields of Georgia. There wasn't no democracy down there. We didn't see any democracy on the streets of Harlem, in the streets of Brooklyn, in the streets of Detroit, in Chicago. There ain't no democracy down there. No, we've never seen democracy. All we've seen is hypocrisy. We don't see any American dream. We've experienced only the American nightmare.